Hey guys, welcome back to Web Dementors YouTube channel and you're watching JavaScript series for beginners. Well, in this video, we're going to see about concatenation operators in JavaScript. Well, in our previous video, we have covered about the arithmetic operators. So we're going to use one of those operators in here, but we're going to see how JavaScript intelligently understands the difference between concatenation and arithmetic operator in here. So what is that? Why do we need it? Well, let me first create a variable which has my second string. This is the second string. And I am going to do one thing in here. I'm going to concatenate two of my string using the same plus that I've used in my previous video which is for addition of two numbers. Now JavaScript is intelligent enough to understand that this plus is for concatenation if it's between two or one of the strings. Now we'll be seeing that one of the strings part in few seconds. Now let me run this code. You can see that the concatenation happened successfully. There's no plus space in here so we can introduce the space in one of those strings. Let me actually open it either in here or else at the end in here. So mostly uh, it should be something like you can actually add one more string in here instead of using a space in here. Let me actually add the space in here and add another plus. So this is called as multiple concatenation but the same concept. So let's run it. You can see that there is a space. Now the condition I said like what if is there a number in here? Now remove this part, which will make confusions. Now we are adding 10 to this alert message. So what happens? Well, it does the concatenation, which we have already seen. Because uh, if I remember correctly, we did something like this with 110, where the 10 was considered as a string. So what happens is that it got concatenated to the number. So 100. So it became like 1010, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Okay. Now, what happens if I have numbers on both sides, but all of a sudden I introduce something like this, a space? What happens there? Any string introduced in between these pluses will be considered as concatenation of strings. So it will be converted into string completely. So the entire part of this is converted into string. So obviously it becomes a string and it is not getting added. Now if you do something like this 10 plus this 10 it will be added first and then a space will be added at the end. So let's actually add some character in here. Let's refresh it. You can see 22d has been added. So uh, I'm sorry for being so fast. Uh, let's actually add some word in here. Sorry about that. You know why. Well, 22 district has been added. So first, the numbers are added. So as there is no string between or before or after this plus, this is considered as an arithmetic plus. So as there is a string after this plus, this is considered as a concatenation operator. So that is how JavaScript actually finds out what is the actual usage of the plus that you're using in here. So what happens if I use star in here? Nan because uh, the type is not proper. So this is a number. This is not a number, so it's an n. So that actually will be covered later on in the series. I have to cover that in a different video because it won't make sense at all if you don't know a few things in JavaScript. Well, that is how the concatenation works. You can make concatenation between strings to as much extent as possible, as much times you need as possible. So you can have multiple concatenations within a string. And there's one thing, you know, concatenation can be done like this as well. Alert message 3 is equal to hello alert message plus equal to hey. So this is also a part of concatenation where the actual value of this is like how it transfers is sorry about that alert message 3 is equal to alert message 3 plus hey 
So this is the shortest form of this. The same goes for numbers as well. So something like if you want to add 3 to a number, so look for something like number is equal to 10. Now if you add alert number plus equal to 1 and you, know, you add alert number first in here. Let me actually display that. You can see 11 is added. So something kind of, you know, the shortest form of writing this. Now let's actually display alert message 3. Refresh. You can see hello hey. So this is how the concatenation and also the addition works. And uh, exactly similar like this, you can write any of your arithmetic calculations. If you are doing something like you want to save, you know, do some arithmetic calculations and save it to the same variable, then this is the shortest way to do it. So you can use even star in here. So two. I should have covered this in the last video itself. You can see that 2 into 10 is 20. So that's how it works. You can even use slash, which will give me the value 5, I believe. Yes. And there's something called as minus 2, which is going to give me 8. See? So that is how it works in uh, JavaScript. I'll see you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and also like the video and also share the video with your friends or anyone you think will be benefited by this video. And if you have any comments, issues, or suggestions or feedback, then please leave them in the comment section or else you can contact me through the Facebook page, Twitter feed or Google Plus page. You can find the links for them in the description section of this video. Anyway guys, let's see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Keep watching the series.